Okay. Hey everyone. So, if you've been following Cubicle stuff, you probably saw a promotional material for Compound V and Compound X, also known as Compound 5 and Compound 10. So, unlike the other lubes, I actually didn't name this one. This one was actually named by the gentleman at the, the, the multiple gentlemen at the office. Uh, the only thing I had uh, in a hand in this time was making it. And compound V and compound X are actually one of the more interesting ones that I worked on. So um, basically I took all the lessons that I learned from making DNM 37. So water-based lubricant, water-based silicone, hygroscopic nature, mess with the viscosities. And I applied that on a better scale. Like how can we do this but better? How can we chase perfection and do it better? So uh, what we ended up, well what I ended up, it's weird. Um, I still say we because I used to work in customer service. Um, so I'm still in school, if you can tell. Um, so what I ended up doing is um, taking every attribute of it and tweaking it, not by a little, but by a lot. So the silicone is much higher grade. It's still water-based, but it behaves differently because not only is the molecular weight way higher, um, the carbon to silicon ratio is also way different. Oh, all right, I found a spot. So uh, that's actually a pretty significant thing because once you change the carbon content, like the percentage of carbon versus silicon, these groups now have a higher affinity towards carbon. And the coolest thing is if you take DNM and you drip it onto a plastic cube, it'll bead up a little bit and form these small droplets. And when you play it with your cube, the silicone, you can still see those droplets get dispersed through the cubes because it's repelled by the silicone. Now, what if we made something that still repelled silicone, but adhered to the plastic? So the higher carbon content actually makes it stick to the plastic. And you'll see this if you buy uh, the product or see our demonstration. We're going to be demonstrating this at Salt Lake City, like at Nationals, in like a month. Um, which means I got to get my butt like back home and making these batches. Um, there's a lot to formulations, um, but back to the point. Not only does the higher molecular silicone adhere to plastic better, but it also has a higher viscosity. Um, I tweaked it a little bit, but it's actually in between DNM and silk. It's similar to DNM, and it serves a similar niche, but the feeling is different, and it differs in a lot of significant ways. Um, so even though it might be a spiritual successor, it's not a true successor. Um, let me think of what else. Um, the hydroscopic nature. So DNM absorbs moisture from the atmosphere. Just like that, compound V also absorbs it from the atmosphere, X too. So we, I quickly learned that when you have hygroscopic things in the lubricants, it keeps the water-based lubricants from drying out. And that's what separates um, all of cubicle water-based lubes from Maru. Uh, they had like the some weird lube I tested back in the day, but that's a big difference. Um, so I think that might be it for V or 5. Um, now on to Compound X. Compound X uses a similar water-based silicone, but um, I can't describe it too much without giving it away. Uh, at first when you apply Compound X, it's gonna feel pretty quick because just like compound V, the lubricity from the silicone will make the puzzle go faster. But as you work it in, it's gonna gum up the cube. And it's not the same thing as when you add Traxxas 50K, 100K, because when you add those, it's really, really gummy and slow, and then it slows down the cube, but then it goes away within like a day or two. Um, because that force is based on the viscosity of the lube in the puzzle. And as that lube wears away, um, the feeling also goes away and your cube goes and starts being fast again. And the philosophy behind Compound V was take everything you learned from DNM and do it all over again, but better, hopefully. Compound X was a different philosophy. The philosophy front behind Compound X was cubes these days are already really, really fast. Lubes were used a lot in ancient times, that's like 2010 before that, because a lot of cubes were slow and bad. But cubes these days are already really, really fast and they perform really well. Now we have to change the feel. So what Compound 10 does is take a really fast cube and then slow it down, 
A lasting slow without a gummy feel. Just a slow feel, but not a sluggish feel. Um, and with both of these lubes, you have to do really slow steps. So like I said earlier, I've been talking a lot, guys. This one's a talky video. Um, the silicone is a higher grade than what we used in DNM. So this higher grade silicone means you only have to use one or two drops, um, especially with compound five, because when you put that in the cube, it gets pretty darn fast. Um, back to X. Uh, so with some of the coated cubes, these cubes are really, really, really fast, and compound X was made to keep that speed in check while keeping the feel. Um, I also have something even better on the way soon. And uh, a few testers will be getting something cool in the mail in about a week or two. Um, some testers have already gotten them, uh, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's that. those are the new lubes. Uh, in summary, uh, water-based lubes, one makes it fast, one makes it slow. Uh, both have a unique feeling. Um, and they're easy to clean out because they're water-based. And uh, one will be deep purple. Uh, the color is still being formulated. I have a few purples. Um, and the other one will be brilliant blue. One is day-themed and one is night-themed. So um, this one was not organized. I just had, I've been in school since 10 and it's six right now. That's uh, eight hours, so that's not bad. Um, but. I'm pretty exhausted guys, so this video was low effort and jumbled, but if you have any questions um, and the off chance that I read them, I'll reply in another video with the project updates. So um, talk to you guys and see you guys in the next video.